The House of Representatives Committee on Ecological Funding has conducted an on-the-spot assessment of key sites across Lagos, pledging rapid intervention to tackle environmental challenges affecting the state. Led by Commissioner for Environment to Kumbo Wahab, the committee inspected areas including Ifakojae and Songo, Aboike to local government areas. Correspondent Esther Mokwarela was there. The public officials began their inspection in Ifakoijai, local government area in Lagos. Here, a growing gully erosion site hasn't only threatened local infrastructure, but has also become a dump for illegal waste disposal. The next stop brought them to Songul, where extensive damage to drainage systems caused by erosion was evident. Officials assessed the damage and discussed next steps. No small amount of money can help any state to solve this problem. So we really need to see for ourselves and advise properly how we can pull more fund for state to actually do uh, what they need to do. So if funding are coming, it must be to the quant quality and the quantity that is required by those states. It's about the collaboration between states and federal. Ecological Fund is an intervention fund to help states bring support to people, fix ecological challenges. And um, I'm glad they are here. They will take stock. And in the afternoon, they meet the governor. And then we we'll take it up from there. Final stop is Agboike to where the committee members assessed the level of environmental degradation caused by the release of water from Oyo Dam. They assured residents of a lasting solution. The committee has seen that Lagos State truly needs a lot of intervention. A lot of people here in Lagos State and you think, you know, it's elitist states that we don't have problems. So and I've tried to convince the committee to ensure that they realize that Lagos State has a lot of you know, ecological issues, challenges that we need to intervene. A lot of people have been displaced, lives have been lost, and a lot of properties have also been lost. So we are going to see how we can attend to them as soon as possible to intervene in their livelihood. While the committee's visit provides hope for the much-needed support to restore affected areas, residents await swift action to address these pressing environmental challenges in Lagos. Esther Mopariola, TVC News.